after Muhammad Buhari ordered the military to shoot persons or people with AK-47, Maeti Allah replies Muhammad Buhari, hey, and tells Amuteku group this, hey, my wonderful people, you know, since they revealed that Muhammad Buhari is the reason why they carry AK-47, Buhari has been very, very angry, I mean, very upset. You know, a repentant bandit did a video, and guess what? They did well to even translate it for those who cannot speak Hausa, saying, listen, we do not have any business with AK-47. All we know how to do is rear our cattle. The federal government gave us arms to begin to kill Nigerians. That was what the guy said. Said, I does not understand why the federal government now is sending the army on them. Anyway, uh, they are speaking now. Let's hear all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Thank you so much. After Buhari ordered the military to shoot purple people with AK-47, Maetiala tells Amuteko group this. <laughs> Recall that President of the Federation, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, has given the Nigerian military an executive order to shoot anyone seen with AK-47. The decision was reached by the Nigerian president because the terrorist group known as bandits have refused to stop the killing and kidnapping of innocent Nigerians in the Far East far east and north this action is greatly towards combing the gruesome acts of killing and kidnapping by the sect after this order was given the mighty allah kula higher national secretary sali hassan said he's happy with the decision taken by the president to assure and restore peace in the country according to him headsmen don't carry guns to rear their cattle. So, therefore, all security agencies like the Amuteku and other ethnic military should take note of this announcement. Hassan said, this is an excellent and executive order. If the president, who is also the commander-in-chief, has given such order, anyone should comply. Everyone, I mean. When he says everyone, including vigilante groups like Amuteko, this is my ATL speaking, including vigilante groups like Amuteko, if they are seen with rifles or AK-427, the army has been given an order to shoot them aside, so nobody should be left out. The government also clearly and cleverly, they have created said the governors of the southwest have created Amuteku to protect lives and property of their people while the north we have been facing insecurity almost every year some leaders have been blackmailing them of tribalism and sentiment this will come to an end so it is good another one said this guy is very clever he's saying that uh, Amuteku that, that is established by law by the state operative um said Amuteku does not have the right to carry AK-47 rifle that the government himself should ensure that Amuteku is not seen with any form of rifle can you believe this can you just believe what you're hearing you just heard it mighty Allah has stressed and has hinted to the government that if they are saying um, a full any headsman should not uh, carry any kind of a uh, quick um, weapon arms uh, Mutekun has no right to also carry arms that Amutekun was formed by the southwest governors to protect their people why they've been suffering insecurity so therefore um, Amutekun should not be seen with any form of arms if Amutekun is seen with any form of arms the federal government should also deal with them like they've promised to deal with any group found with any form of ammunition so this is what they said my people this is what is currently happening at the moment uh, my ATL is stressing it out there that uh, the federal government has said nobody should be seen with any form of arms well my guys what do you really think you know uh muhammad buhari since the 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 what's it called now bandits has been pointing fingers on him so much so that the ones that captured people a few days ago in Niger state students and some teachers uh, said you know we want to see the president of the nation they said the president brought us into nigeria during 2015 election and he left us in the bush with um 
arms, what does he expect us to do that they want to see the president? Since the call started coming in and coming in, Muhammad Buhari does not want the international community to get, you know, suspicious and begin to ask questions and maybe interrogate this boy and ask, why are you asking of the pre for the president of the country? Hence, he's trying to dislodge them. Immediately that came out and again, following after that was another uh, video explaining that uh, Muhammad Buhari was their leader. In fact, he's deprived the presidential jet that is, you know, being sent to deliver arms to them. Yes, if you've not heard that, my dear, we'll, we'll give you full report in a few minutes' time. Look out for it. You know, they're, they're beginning to spill the beans because even they told the girls, the little girls that they, you know, the, the school children that they captured in Zanfara State that... Um, Buhari's government has disappointed them. Buhari pr promised them a, lo a host lot more, but right now Buhari is not meeting up to the to what he promised them, and they are not very happy about it. They want to see Buhari face to face. So this is what we are currently experiencing in this country, and it's rather very sad because once upon a time Nigeria is a country you know that should be better if we have good leadership. But you see what is currently happening today: the leadership that we have has made this country to be in a very in a very terrible pathetic state so to say because we have all that it takes you know to take it takes for us to be a better people but when you have mismanagement you have people who have personal interests who have their own personal you know views and how things should be this is what you experience this is what begins to happen and that's why nigeria as a country has not really moved forward as it should you know we should have been well more advanced Advance. But right now, what we're currently experiencing is this set of people who have their own ideology, their own idiosyncrasy on how to lead government, and indeed, truly speaking, they've not got a clue what should really happen to the people or to the government. And that's why Nigeria is in the state where she is at this point in time. But guess what, guys? We cannot be quiet. You know, in those days, they can do it and get away with it some time ago, some 40, 30, 20 years ago. But today, you know the world, you know the whole world is a global village. You can actually be in your living room right there, for instance, in Abi Okuta. And if you have a good internet service, you can see what is going on in Bangladesh. All you need to type in happenings in Bangladesh today. Google will show you to you what is happening. We'll even give you picture images. So this is how far the world has come. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.